Good morning, boys and girls. Uh, guitar players, bass players, drummers, keyboards, horn enthusiasts, flute players. We're back for the seventh session. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> the last session, we talked about four and five part writing. And we basically just went through, you know, regular block voicing. We talked about replacing the major seventh with the sixth if your root is in the melody. Uh, really simple. And now we're going to talk about, we're going to open up the voicing. And we can open up the voicing to various degrees depending on how high your top voice goes. Because you want to keep your tenor, your lower instruments, in a better part of their range so that they blend, blend better and that makes the section more fat. Um, I used to play in a couple, you know, I played in different horn bands over the years. <clears throat> and sometimes I would hear the trumpet player would be above the staff up here and the trombone is just way up high you know and and they're just holding out a note they're not you know so and so because they kept it block voicing even though the trumpet was above the staff so the trombone guys playing c's and d's which he can and they sound great you know by themselves or in certain scenarios they sound great up high but if you got a big fat chord happening you want to keep those tenor instruments down where they're nice and big and round and full Okay, so let's do that. So last time we talked about treble clef and we C major seventh. So let's let's stay in all the white notes. Um, C major seventh, and our melody note is <clears throat> E. Okay, so typically a block voicing would be E, C, B, G, and E again. Okay, so the first. Um, open voice we're going to talk about is a drop two. Uh, at Dick's down in LA, I went to this uh, school, a music school in LA, and he liked to call it A voicing, but most people know it as a drop two, which basically is you drop the second voice of the voicing down an octave. So the second voice from the top would be the C, would be this voice right here. Okay, this would be the first voice, second, third, fourth, so on. So you drop this C, the second voice at the top, you drop him down an octave to this C. So he's gone from here to here, okay? So your voicing would look like this now. And C, okay? So <clears throat> instead of your trombone or let's say your whoever your lowest voice is playing the E, he's now playing the C, so better part of the range, okay? So that's a drop two get my board from rattling around that's a drop two okay let's try another one let's try uh a b flat or let's try a different kind of chord let's try a b flat seven a dominant chord okay treble clef again okay and let's say that he is his top note let's say the horn the trumpet guy's playing an f okay and then your block voicing would be just d uh, B flat, A flat, uh, F again. So there's your, and so B flat, what is that? That's the five chord in E flat. So we got five, we got three flats. B flat, E flat, A flat. Okay. So that's a block voicing. We do the A, the drop two. Here's the top note of the voicing, second note of the voicing. You drop the, the D down an octave. So there you go. There's your voicing now. The top's playing fifths, kind of an interesting shape up there. Uh, and we'll get more into shapes later because a lot of times when you play it, you can play it. When you really open a voicing up, which we'll get into later, uh, you can play with the play around with the shape a, a little bit so you've got a nice, nice shape. Um, so there there it is for drop, drop two. Um, Let's do a minor chord. Let's do F minor, which is also the two chord in E flat. So we're still in E flat. And let's say the top note is E flat. And we got a C, uh, A flat, F, and E flat down here. Okay? And an A flat. Okay? Here they are over here. Drop that C, that second note of the voicing, down an octave to here. And there you have it. There's your drop. There's your drop two. Or, like we used to call it Dick's, uh, an A voicing. Okay? Um, and that, that's how that, that works. Uh, on the next lesson, we're going to talk about, we're going to get, there's another, oh, the eight timer. <laughs> um, 
Anyway, uh, the next, uh, we can open up this voicing a little further and we'll do what I call a drop two four and it's just what it says. We drop the two, second note of the voicing and the fourth note of the voicing down an octave. So don't forget, shoot me an email, Fred Stickley Music, Fred at fredstickleymusic.com and that's the website, fredstickleymusic.com. You can find the, the video tutorials and you can also download uh, the free ebook that's got all this stuff in there. Uh, really simple. I'm trying to keep it really simple and to the point. No fat. Just write what you need to know and to keep keeping it simple. So until I see you again, thanks for stopping by. We'll see you later. Thanks. Mm -hmm.